Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I am showing you how to enable a honeypot field on the Divi contact form. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it may sound like a little bit of a funny thing, um, a pot of honey. So think of it as something attractive, but for spam bots. Basically it's a trap for spam bots that will, they'll fill out this particular field and then it tells the form like, hey, um, that's actually a spam bot, and then it won't actually send it to you as the admin. So we kind of um, trick them and catch them, and then it prevents that annoying, you know, spam bot. Um, those emails that are clearly, you know, sent out by these scripts that crawl your site and stuff. It, it prevents them from reaching you. All right, so we're gonna just show you really quick how to add this to the Divi contact form. And I'll talk a little bit about how it works at the end, but um, basically for this kind of functionality, it's just not possible for me to give you some snippet to do this. Like we've got to actually integrate this into the form. And so you will need our plugin, the Divi Contact Form Helper. So um, the good news is that a lot of you already have it. Um, if you're members of our Divi Adventure Club membership, um, yearly or lifetime members to get all of our products and courses. So the good news is a lot of you already have that. If you don't, um, this is the only way that I know how to do this, um, adding this honeypot field. So go ahead and you know get that installed on your site and then we'll go to step two, which is really easy. It's enabling a setting. And so that's kind of uh, how it should be, right? How it should work. So over in my contact form, I'll just open up the, the regular Divi module and you know, you, there's already um, spam protection options in here. There's one that's called use a spam protection service and you enable that and then you can connect to the Google reCAPTCHA. Um, and um, there's also the basic CAPTCHA, which, you know, we all hate, you know, doing the math, right? So um, that's just, you know, so <laughs> bots can get past that, we'll just say. Um, it's just annoying. But then our last one here, use honeypot. This one is added by our plugin. So when you install the Divi contact form helper, we're injecting settings into the existing module and this is one of them. So just turn it on. And um, you know, if you're really uh, the technical kind who wants to know how this is working, I mean, you could actually inspect the code and find the field and everything. Um, and you'll see it's like a, a hidden radio button field. And I say hidden because it's, it's visible to bots, but not to me. Like I don't see that field here anywhere. You know what I mean? So back here, I just added this little blip of how it works. So think of it as, you know, the robot's coming to your site um, and it's gonna scan and it wants to find a form to send you an automated message. And it'll try to make it look like it's from a user and all that, but you'll get it in your inbox and you'll delete it because you'll be annoyed um, by it. Basically what happens is, so this field, it's like a pot of honey, right? A honey pot field, it, it's attractive, it looks sweet and, um, the bot essentially thinks it's, you know, pulling one over on you and sending your form when in reality, our plugin is saying, ha ha, we got you. And we realize that you're a fake and you think that we're sending it, but we actually didn't. <laughs> so um, that's my, uh, my version of how it works. So yeah, that's, that's uh, how to catch robot spam. Now this isn't obviously stopping human spam, I guess that's obvious, but um, it's stopping the robot spam. So um, it's kind of an essential nowadays to have this honeypot field for your forms. So I would recommend turning it on all your forms using our plugin. All right, well, we hope you've enjoyed that. Hopefully um, you find that easy enough and <laughs> not complicated. So anyway, usually we have like code snippets and things like this on our um, videos and tutorials, but this week we just couldn't, it just, it's not possible with this kind of thing. Anyway, like I said, be sure to like check out our membership and, um, see what all we have there and you can subscribe. We do a video every single week and a blog post. So tutorials every week. So now there's hundreds of them on this channel and on our site that you can check out. All right. We'll see you all in our next video.